ban techniques here at GBRL. So we restrict your access to do certain techniques until you have either demonstrated that you have enough control, uh, you've reached a certain level, uh, and some techniques are just outright banned. So for instance, control restricted access. You don't have access to hit full live training and sparring rounds uh, here at the academy until you have one stripe on your white belt, which is a symbol of trust that your instructor will place into you. You've demonstrated through classes and specific training that you are, um, have got some sound base level of jiu-jitsu and you're not going to be at risk of injuring yourself and importantly injuring anyone else should we let you go into the more freedom realm of um, full sparring, full live training. Then you've got rank restricted access. So this might be something like heel hooks in no gi at blue belt and above. This is because the nature of the injuries that can occur at those uh, in those submissions will be much more risky. And we want you to have a certain level of proficiency in jiu-jitsu before we start attempting those kind of techniques. And then there's techniques that are just outright banned. You can't do them whether you are a uh, day one white belt or a black belt for 20 years, uh, just because the nature of that move in a live training setting is so high risk that uh, should it go wrong, you are gonna end up with one of those severe or catastrophic injuries that we talked about before. And that is unacceptable to us here at the Academy when we want to make sure that you have a safe and a fun training environment here at GBRL.